All right, guys. Playing dating six women based on old filters. The nectar, nectar. <laughs> we no no uh, commentary. We asked Orion to blind date five women based on aged up photos. My name is Orion, and I I'm a film director, video editor. In my 70s, I would like to be someone like my grandma because she's the kindest woman in the world. Oh, the nice grandma and grandpa, man. Ah, uh, it is. It's so true. Let's see it. It's true. It was true for my, wow. my grandparents and brothers. It's true for my grandparents, guys. <laughs> Thankfully, no one looks like my grandma. Why is there laughing? Grandma? Wow, they did a really good job in this photo editing. It's a bit scary. It was probably just apps that did it, right, guys? No photo editing needed. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, number one. Um, please introduce yourself. So, I'm Andrea. I am an actress, an artist, and a climate justice organizer. I like that you help with climate change because I do a lot of social issues. Oh, I did not know they were behind that. The okay. Documentaries, too. That's great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Number two. Where is she at, bro? She's like behind, like. I'm girl number two, formerly known as Jordan. I'm sure you jump scared at my f formerly known photo because <laughs> I personally did. I'm really happy they put. That, guys, that's like in the '60s, kind of. That, that would be my guess. '60s, '70s, late '50s, maybe late '50s. Some lip gloss on me though. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I like video games, music. Oh, video games! Let's go! Let's go! I like video games as well. In films, favorite director is probably like Wes Anderson. Ooh, Very yeah. I don't watch films that much, guys. I really don't. I did for Astro. I'll be watching like YouTube's YouTube recommended Prince all day and night. Uh, number three, this one's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sydney. Um, I'm a consultant. Consultant, so you're making that bread. You know, you know yeah. I had hoped, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see myself in old age, traveling the world. Making more bread than me. Oh, Sorry, guys, I'll just keep saying that until I hopefully make a decent bread when what I'm doing as a YouTuber, guys. I apologize. Just being a happy-go-lucky gal. So. Awesome. Agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, number four. Wow. Looks like she was in, like, Walking Dead or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dead inside. Hi, I'm... Got, like, a little bit of five o'clock shadow, it seems. Megan, I am not a zombie in real life, but I'm told I give, like, Wednesday Adams vibes. Um, I'm 22. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, and currently I'm a PhD student at UC... She's smart. She's smart. Okay. LA, where I look for aliens. Do you work at Area 51? Sometimes, okay. yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Is that that's a job, bro? We should watch Paranormal. Hey, it should be a job. Oh, documentaries together. Oh, I'm so down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one. This Whoa. one out of all of them has teeth, which is really interesting and <laughs> very white. Guys, these gotta be AI generated, man. Great teeth. That's I love that. Someone did good with Invisalign. My name is Cheyenne, and it's quite funny because I'm actually known for my teeth a little bit back in the day. Me and Spongebob could be cousins, but um, <laughs> <laughs> now we're doing better, but... Guys, you can get that fixed. I'm sure that would cost a lot, though. I like to figure skate, rollerblade, skateboard. I just started getting into surfing. You're probably really fit. Uh, I, I, you know, try to keep it, you know, yeah. try to keep it tight. But, yeah. Fun fact about me, uh, I do jujitsu. Oh, okay. So oh, gonna... snap, bro. That's scary, that's scary. I tried to get into martial arts a little, but I was just so... I just ended up being a wannabe, man. Messing with you. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> My question is, in the future, who do you aspire to be? Uh, I very much hope to create art that is, like, socio-political, and I definitely want to be, like, the women who raised... Socio-political, like, one of those uh, cartoonists, uh, political, like, uh, artists. Because those are, I used to look at those a lot. My mom is a immigrant and a really powerful, strong woman, and she inspires me on a daily basis. Strong woman, just like how Pinky Doll says, guys. I am someone who loves comedy and just living life. 
you know, I'm a little bit of a free spirit. And so I hope to just grow into the funniest person ever. Who do I aspire to be like? Maybe like Martha Stewart. She's okay. I wonder if they can see each other behind this booth, guys. A baddie. She did her time. Yeah. She just got on <laughs> Sports Illustrated. <laughs> and she hangs with Snoop Dogg. So. Yeah, That's exactly. Great. Ultimately, I just want to look back on my life, like when I'm, you know, old and raisined, that... Guys, who would you pick? Let me know in the comments below. Like, I kind of <laughs> tried everything, and I don't regret my decisions. That's awesome, yeah. I love living life every day like it's my last. You gotta. So, you yeah. absolutely gotta. Okay, so by the time I'm 70, I would really like to have found aliens. I really think... Guys, she's known as the girl who wants to find aliens. Is she gonna make everything about it? <laughs> <laughs> they are going to come within our lifetime. Um, it's absolutely coming. Somebody I really look up to is definitely also my mother. She's an absolute MILF at 53. She's the hottest woman I've ever seen, except for maybe Rebecca Black. And she's just like really popular. <laughs> Rebecca Black? Wait, was that Rebecca Black? She looks so different if that's her, guys. Legit. ...in our community for being like super sweet and charming and nice all the time. My inspiration, I would say, is to be a lot like Mrs. Worldwide. I love to travel. I, I would love to go to every con. Don't know who Mrs. Worldwide is if you do. Uh, nice. That is nice. And even uh, Antarctica one day, maybe to high five a penguin. What was your favorite place you've traveled to? Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> maybe Italy? Italy's like a beautiful place. It was like a movie going there. I feel like I was like in Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watched that movie when I was there too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a vibe. Mm -hmm. That is. I did not watch that movie. And like I said, I do not just watch movies, bro. I'd be doing my YouTube. Guys, I grew up with YouTube for like 10 years, man. Just completely cut out everything besides YouTube. It's kind of sad, really. Because I could have been making videos, but now I just only even started making videos for like 8 months. These past 8 months. A little bit earlier in the year, but I deleted like a ton of videos back then, so... Started f f fresh slates like eight months ago, guys. And we're at like 2,000 videos already, guys. Studied a lot of them shorts, so. But in London, and that was amazing. How's your accent? Uh, it's not that good. It's uh, rubbish, is it? <laughs> All right, mate. All right, mate. It's okay. We can work on it together. No hard feelings, right? Never. No. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh god. All right. Wait, she said, we'll see. This is a hard decision, but the person I'm eliminating is number two. Oh. Hi. Uh, you done, you done goofed. You done goofed. Honestly, I would eliminate oh god, me you're too. you're so pretty. Thank you. Look. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Do I look like her? Uh. You, you don't actually. You look like a completely different person, but you would look great when you're 70. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's one to 70. So sorry. Taking so, out the game. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> like, you guys. Only one can win here, guys. We're all looking old in these photos. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what TV show or movie can we, like, keep watching together again and again? I'm gonna give you a doofus answer for the TV show, but I love Rick and Morty. I feel like I can watch that over and over and over and over. And as far as movies, um, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so I would definitely watch that series. Harry Potter's my <laughs> Like Good, yeah. good, 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 good. You're a wizard, should... Harry. Like, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then we can work on an accent, you know? <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, you stumbled. Harry Potter upon a very weird fun fact about me i've actually seen the entirety of the simpsons and i am looping it back a second time so i have seen all 34 seasons and then sheesh bro that's not that many seasons though you can watch that in like a month bro that's not that long guys right i think my favorite movie is everything everywhere what like a thousand episodes two thousand maybe we're all at once Same. something about bawling my eyes out to two Guys, we can put a, put out a thousand video, a thousand long forms in like a month and a half, bro. Do <laughs> rocks with googly eyes on them? That's just like a yeah. transcendent experience. I've probably watched it like ten times now, and every time I tear up. <laughs> we can do laundry and taxes together. Oh, I hate doing my taxes. Well, that must be a quote from their favorite TV show, because everybody watches TV shows but me, it seems. Taxes too, so you can help me do them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I really like The Walking Dead. Um, I, Same. you know, <sighs> I love that. And okay, he has favorite TV show, right, guys? Mine, if I was on there, I'd be like, uh, 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 Last one I actually watched was like a show called Weeds, guys. It's so long too, so we would never really. The last one I went out of my way to watch a little bit. They run out, and I feel like I was. My ex watched a bunch, but yeah, I watched a little bit with them. Taking notes, like I could confidently survive at least two weeks now. Before it was like a day. Now I have more tips and tricks to survive. So. Yeah. I just finished the show Jury Duty. Um, oh my god, me TV. too. So good. Yeah, it's good. Um, I did. But I want to skip over to this dog. And watch Succession. Very good. Oh yeah. My favorite quote in Succession was like, "We are here for you." You know that quote. Yikes. Um, honestly, I have no idea what oh. you're talking about. <laughs> 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 Wait, who, who, okay, never who mind. says that at never one mind. point? We're here for you. That's just gibberish. I feel like those girls would laugh at me, man. <laughs> We're here for you. This is based on what you guys said for the TV show, and I'm gonna have to choose number five because uh, oh. Rick and Morty is actually one of my least favorite shows. What? You don't like they, they don't like Rick and Morty, guys? I'm so sorry. Guys, oh yeah, I used to watch like Rick and Morty, like pirated versions uh, that they upload on TikTok, and uh, yeah. Rick and Morty a little bit in Family Guy and American Dad. Right as I ended this stream recently. But not not that oh my gosh. Down, I'm more All of a right. South Park person. That's okay. Dog. It's okay, it's okay. He gave that look like, dude, screw you. <laughs> I don't blame you. South Park is where it's at yeah. too. That'd be cool if you could see the date afterwards. Right. You look young in there, like yeah. Look like Push 35 in, like, or something. 35, yeah. wow. Yeah, right. Okay. I'll run with that. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Oh god. Taking out of the game, bro. Okay, what round three, guys. What would you say guys. a current growing edge is for you? Like something that you are working on and growing on? I think something I'm really trying to grow out of is spending too much money. I think another quality of mine that I could get better in is probably, um, Snap, he, he, he's, he's messing up here, guys. He's messing up. Okay, I'm we not get it. I'm not a perfect person. You're perfect. I'm not, <laughs> we get it. Not you have nothing person. to work on. Question I have. Oh, snap. She's being super nice there. Have for you is what's one thing you wish people noticed more about you? I wish people knew that I was like soft on the inside. Oh. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I'm pretty much an open book. If you asked me anything, I would tell you. Oh. Um, well, good to know. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Okay, hi Orion. Um, hey. So first, I'm very into space, and I was wondering if you're named after the constellation. I am. My dad is just like obsessed with Greek mythology. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, bro, his dad be studying tough. He's named like me and my three little brothers all uh, constellations. I, I have no idea why my dad named me, guys. Names. The constellations, bro. That's not really about mythology, is it, guys? That's so yeah. cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's interesting. Why is uh, my name just Megan? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay, so my final question is, when you retire, where do you plan to live and like settle down? It's hard for me to imagine like, oh, I'm gonna be in X place for the rest of my life. I really do see myself in LA for a long period of time, but I love the idea of being a little bit transient. Don't, don't become homeless. If the transient means homeless, don't do it. Being in multiple places. So I don't think it does, guys. I, I don't know much about what the word means, but... So I do know that wherever I end up, ideally it would be close to my parents. Um, I'd love to have them near. Interesting question, though. Me, whether that means, like, settling where they are right now and back in Virginia or trying to hopefully make enough money to bring them with me wherever I end up. Um, my ideal retirement place is right above San Diego, so, like, Carlsbad, Solana Beach area, and, yeah, because they have, like, a singular problem, and that's that their boba game is weak, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Boba, man, I, I really want to order that regularly, bro. Hopefully, you know, in the next 50 years, that gets fixed and I can move there. The first person would have to be number one. Oh. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, you messed up. I know. I'm gonna say that with everyone, but. Can I get a hug? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, you look very um, young in there too. Like. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's what they all say, basically. This is so just walk off stage. Hard. Kind of like eating me, eating my mom. It's like. I'm just kidding. <laughs> The next two left now. I'd like to eliminate. Oh snap! There, there, no, no more series of questions here. It's just ending here. Is number three. What? Oh. <laughs> Dude, she looks like guys. Hello. Hey. Wow. No, you, you, you goofed, bro. Look at that, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Are you serious, man? What? Bro. Oh my gosh, dog. <laughs> nice to meet right. you. <laughs> Sad, bro. Sad. Oh my. Oh my. Well, how does it? What do you think? Looks, looks great. That's great. <laughs> Was this the one that you said buckshot like? Yeah. Very, yeah. You know? <laughs> I think it's because like the, there's a flash going. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, Oh man, I can't believe it, bro. The background the is mascara kind of there. Anyway, yeah. Well, nice to meet yeah. you. Excited to meet your winner. Yeah. Right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has to pick. Uh, he's he's picking one. Okay. I guess I don't know. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet oh. you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. I like your makeup. Oh, your thank you. Cool. Yeah. I went for a slight academic look with like a twist. It's Sweet. Career academic. I look nothing like this. They whitewashed. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you won't need that. Book. You know, right, dude? I thought I did not. She did not look age, Asian in that picture, bro. No talks at all. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, cool. Nice meeting you. Nice meet you. Who do you want to be by the time you're 70 or 80? Um, if it's anything like this baddie right here, I will be happy with that. I want to be the little old lady that um, people are like, Oh, we want to have Andrea over um, for our like Thanksgiving meal. So they go in on a date, right? I can't tell. By the time I'm 70 or 80, I want to still do yoga every day. I want to have cats. And I would just like for people to see me as somebody they can always go to when they need help with something. So Screw schoolgirl outfit. Boba. Boba. Yeah. Hot pot. Maybe. Hot pot, yeah. I know this place called Heidi Lau. I've it's been to Heidi Lau. <laughs> Boba, guys. <laughs> I, I like boba. I want to try boba, man. It's really got me thinking. Like this video if you believe in aliens. What? <laughs> Can we do a blind date based off Spotify playlist? That'd be a great idea. Mega said whitewash and I agree. I know, right, dude? I thought it was going to be like some Western woman, bro. Road to Nate Diaz, a fight documentary. Yo, Jake Paul just uploaded. Love how last week we had babies, and this week we we're dating off oldies. Next week, dating off midlife crisis. My jaw dropped when I saw Sydney. She's one of the most beautifulest women I, I know, right? You messed up, bro. You messed up, bro. Oh, gosh. They ain't messed up on Sydney, bro. <laughs> sad, sad. All right, guys, that's a video. Peace out. Check out the original <laughs> cause, like, video in the description. I'll see you guys next one, guys. This is Sydney, right? Oh, my gosh. Made her account private. And everybody on Instagram but me, bro. We're trying to... Only plug in their Instagrams here. Yeah, guys, that's a video. Peace out for watching, and I'll see you guys next one. Later.